Come on and listen to that band. Hey there, ain't it grand? What's up, fish tank people? Okay, today on Aquahound's Dirty Little Secrets, we're going to be going over the final conclusion, part two of the nitrogen cycle. Now, the first part, just to do a little recap, I went over and I talked about this natural process that every new tank has to go through, whether fresh water, salt water, it doesn't matter. But what's going on, it's got your ammonia, which is produced from fish waste. And then what happens is you got these nitrosomonas bacteria that come along and they eat that ammonia and they produce your nitrite. Then what happens is another bacteria that's least lethal of the ammonia and the nitrite come along and they're called nitrobacter. And they eat that nitrite and they produce nitrate, which you can get rid of through water changes. Okay? Now, just to give you an idea, I haven't done a water change since I set this tank up okay and it's been a little bit over a week now and it is the sixth day since I've added my one and only live nitrifying bacteria by Dr. Tim now I've been testing it daily and the levels of ammonia and nitrite have been going down along with nitrate it's been at zero so now today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my final test and I'm going to prove to you why Dr. Tim's one and only live nitrifying bacteria is the shit, okay? Now, what this stuff is, just to do a little recap in case you didn't catch my first show, is it just adds that nitrifying bacteria to your water colony. And what happens is, is it speeds up your nitrogen cycle because you don't have to wait for that bacteria to colonize. But the thing is, you have to feed it ammonia, which... In my case, I don't have any fish to add in my tank, so I had to go with this stuff, which is the ammonium chloride. It's also by Dr. Tim's, and it's for the fishless cycling. Now, overall, the one and only live nitrifying bacteria costs like 20 bucks, and the ammonium chloride, it only costs like 3 bucks. So, plus tax, I got it from doc Dr. Foster and Smith's, and it costs... I don't know, 25 bucks to speed up your process so you can go from uh, waiting for this process to go you know it can range from four to six weeks if you leave it go naturally or you can buy 25 bucks worth of stuff to make it be done in just a few days now this is a six day and I'm gonna mention the live rock probably helps cycle it a little bit faster so I mean, this is the way to go. Why wouldn't you do this? I mean, I know it's a natural process, and you should wait, but to tell you the truth, my salt salinity is right, my temperature is right, my ammonia, my nitrite, and my nitrate, I'm gonna check here very soon. And I also have another kit that, uh, it's, it's the API Reef saltwater test kit, and that tests your alkalinity, your calcium, your phosphate levels, and also your pH and I've already done that and it's all ready to go because the salt that I've added it it has all them trace elements that are needed for corals and reefs okay so I can do another video on that probably here in the future once I start adding my corals and stuff because I'll have to retest it the water because once you do water changes you take out them trace elements and you gotta add them back in with additives and that's a whole different video, okay? So now I'm getting off topic here. Let's go ahead and test the water. Oh, alright. Alright, folks, the results are in. And as you can see, we'll start on the left with the ammonia. Now that's about zero parts per million. And then we'll move over to the mill with the nitrite. And that's at zero parts per million, and the nitrate is also at zero. Now, this is the sixth day, and I've been doing testing every day, and every day both the ammonia and the nitrite levels have been going down, and the nitrate's been pretty much at zero. So what that tells me is Dr. Tim's Aquatics, one and only, 
live nitrobacteria in combination with the ammonium chloride solution for your fishless cycling is probably the best way out on the market today for 25 bucks to cycle your tank under six days so I mean you can't beat that I mean it's either you sit here and you wait for a month or even longer maybe for all that bacteria to start growing by itself to colonize your water I don't know like I'd rather have my tank up and ready to go as soon as possible so I can start adding all the stuff we love seeing fish corals and invertebrates all right and the reason I opted to go with this fast cycle process is because I was getting in my marine inverts in a couple days so I needed my tank to be ready to go with all the levels of ammonia nitrite nitrate at zero so in conclusion we can see by the test by the API saltwater master test kit that my levels are perfect and you can't complain about that now I like to give a nice applause for Dr. Tim and his great product because without it I'd probably be sitting here for a while just looking at my empty tank now what I want to end with is something that it, it kind of gives you an idea if you don't do this fast cycling process where you add in your own nitrifying bacteria what you can do is you can wait the four to six weeks or maybe longer depending on your tank and what you can do is you can notice by an algae growth if you have a bloom of algae all of a sudden then you know your tanks pretty much coming to the end of its cycle and that's when you know that it's time to go and buy yourself a marine reef cleaning crew okay because what you want to look at is I'll show you right now is what you're looking at is brown diatom algae now I got a really good bloom of it going on the top of these rocks where the lights hitting it at first and also you can see on there there's some hair algae and also there's a little bit of green algae growing on there as well now that's a good indicator that your tank is coming to the end of its cycle and then you just know you gotta go out and you gotta get some crabs some snails and you just gotta get an algae attacking cleanup crew okay and that's it that's all there is to it and really the nitrogen cycle is a complicated process to understand it's uh, bacteria that we can't see with our eyes we really don't know what's going on but thanks to the water treatment kits we can go ahead and know the levels of ammonia nitrate and nitrate and also what I'll be doing in the near future I'll be going over water quality for adding your corals now that's a whole different ballpark we're looking at calcium alkalinity uh, iodine uh, phosphate levels those are all that's a whole different story but what we're going over today is we're finishing up the nitrogen cycle and for me it's coming to an end it's pretty much ready to go I could add fish today corals invertebrates whatever it's ready to go so I hope you found this video informative and I hope you have a much better understanding of how the nitrogen cycle works and once again one and only live nitrifying bacteria by Dr. Tim's it's it's definitely the shit okay you don't wanna I mean 25 bucks you can have this ready up and running six days you're good to add your fish corals whatever it's just it's awesome I can't wait to get started so what I'll be doing next in my next Aquahounds Dirty Little Secret episode is we'll be going over my marine cleanup crew and until then have a good one give me a thumbs up if you like comment rate and subscribe thanks